Hi everybody, it's Colleen here from Feel Great Reflexology and Massage Cupping. I'm here with my lovely husband and model. He has graciously volunteered his lovely legs, his lovely knees for today's cupping session. So I'm going to be doing some cupping on the quadriceps, on the knees, and possibly the lower legs. We're going to see. He's got a little tiny cut here, which um, I don't cup on and we shouldn't cup on. Um, massage cupping, we should always avoid areas that have a little cut. So uh, we'll see how we may or may not work that in. But for now, we're going to work on the quads and the knees. So I've already put some lubrication on. I put some oil on so that we can do some gliding cupping. And I am going to just use my lymphatic drainage cup. As you know, we always start off with our lymphatic drainage cup and I'm just cupping up. And the reason why I cup in an upwards direction is because I want the lymph to flow well. And this is a little cheat for the lymph. The lymph is going from the lower extremities up towards the heart. So um, we're going to do that. And now that I've opened up that area, I am going to put some cups on the quadriceps. And we're going to do that very gently. Put a few cups on. And I'm going to get the IT band. This IT band, as you know, can be very tight. Um, but it needs to be treated as well. So make sure when you put the cups on, it's really light on the IT band to start off with. Because you don't want your um, patient running off the table and screaming because you have given them some trauma that they weren't expecting, right? <laughs> Hun, you'd be running, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. He'd be done. So be good, be kind, check in, ask them how they're feeling. How are you feeling, Hun? Feeling great. Feeling great? Excellent. All right, so this cup has fallen off and that happens from time to time, especially if you put them on lightly or if there are bony areas or prominences that cause the cups to fall off. Um, sometimes it could be the toughness of the skin. The palms and the sole of the feet have tougher skin and the cups will fall off <laughs> and there goes my other cup. Good thing I've got a backup one. So I'm gonna put it on a little tighter, but I'm just gonna make sure that I'm, my husband yeah. is okay. okay. I'm, you're okay, good. I want him to always volunteer, right? Oops, I just mm -hmm. pulled that one off. So there we go. So this is just me putting on some cups, stationary cupping. And the stationary cups remain in place. Just like the name sounds, they stay in place. Um, another thing to remember, if you have a client that's got a lot of hair on the skin, you might need some extra oil in order to make sure that the cups will stay on. Um, my husband's a little, little bit hairy, not too hairy, um, but something to keep in mind. So again, with stationary cups, we just leave them in place for five minutes or so. Um, 10 minutes, 15 minutes as well. Um, I often leave them uh, anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. And then I will take them off and do some more gliding cupping just to help relieve the area, to move any debris, stagnation, toxins up and out of that area. We had a great cheat by having these cups pull up um, to bring oxygen, blood flow, stagnation, toxins to this area and that's why you see the red cupping marks those red cupping marks show you the different severities of toxins that are in the body and the darker the marks generally the more um, stagnation or severity that might be in the body so um, you want to make sure that you can pull it up and then help to clear it out through lymphatic drainage. So that's what we're gonna do with our lymphatic drainage cups after. Before we do so, I wanna remind you to subscribe and I wanna remind you to ask me any questions that you have, comment below. I love receiving your comments and I love responding to your comments. And ring the bell because when you ring the bell, you'll get the new videos that I create and you can also let me know what other types of videos you want me to create for you. So I'd be happy to do so and I look forward to hearing from you. And I think it's time to take the cups off, yes? Yes. Okay, let's do it. So I will take them off slowly and basically I just hold the top of the cup, I put my finger right by the skin and right by the 
um, cup where it has um, attached itself to the skin and I just open it up. I pull up on it very gently and that's the key because you, sometimes if the cups are on pretty tight and you just yank them off, it's uncomfortable for the patient and you don't want them to feel that discomfort. You want them to feel comfort uh, whatever you do, whether you're placing them on the body or taking the cups off of the body. So back with my lymphatic drainage cup, love my lymphatic drainage cup. And I don't see too many red marks. I haven't left the cups on very long. And to be honest, um, my husband doesn't get a lot of um, red marks on his legs. They're, they're usually in pretty good condition. So um, I didn't expect to see any, but again, I'm doing lymphatic drainage up towards the hip and I am doing it because we want to help the flow of lymph and that lymph is carrying any stagnant material um, through the lymphatic vessels to the lymph nodes and eventually back into the blood circulatory system and the kidneys will do their thing and help to flush all of that uh, toxic stuff that we pulled up out of the body and it gets flushed through, you know, waste matter. So when you're going to the bathroom, when you are um, sweating, um, you will notice that's another way that you're detoxing the body. And of course, we're gonna drink our water because when you drink your water, you're helping to speed detoxification, right, hun? Yep, sir. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's it for doing our massage cupping on the quadriceps and I hope you learned a lot today. So remember to subscribe and have a great day and ask me any questions about massage cupping. I'd love to hear from you. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.